All right, setting up uh, ignition timing on a Nissan Skyline GTR. Um, you can see we're hooked up here in the loop in the back. And the thing is, if the timing is reading out, sometimes you need to flip this loop over, over. So what you have to do is you have to take this and flip it instead of that way, flip it this way. Although this one, this way, reads, reads uh, off. So if we go ahead and start it up like this, we'll see that the timing is reading about 30 degrees off. We know it's probably not that way because it looks decently close right here. So, and again, our timing marks are down there, but let me uh, hit that next. So here I got this flipped over and we take the gun and the gun is set to zero. And we look down here at our mark and our mark down there shows about 30 degrees, but we know that's not right. So if we dial it into about 30, and we dial it into 30 on here, and we shoot down there, then it's showing about zero at 30. But again, now if we take the same timing loop right here, and we take it and we flip it over, Sorry, hard to do this with one hand. There we go. Same loop. Uh, let me set this back to zero. And we get down inside there. And we can see that this car is actually reading about 15 right now. So if we dial it up to 15 where it's supposed to be, or 15 which is not quite right on this car, you see it's about zero. So this car is about five degrees retarded. I'm going to reset it, and then, uh, like I said, this with a with an Actron timing analyzer. And I said a lot of people have problems, and I tell them to flip the loop over, and that's what I mean by flip the loop.